Hello everybody, welcome to Filbert Flies and to this very exciting uh, live stream from Olbia Costa Smeralda in uh, Sardinia to London Gatwick and uh, of course during this stream I'm going to be giving away two copies of Origami Studios Gatwick Airport Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator released only today um, and reviewed by me yesterday if you'd like to check that video out. Um, so here we are at Olbia, we've got a few people flying with us today. I believe one of these two aircraft over here is Ben. Um, I know that Ian's coming along for the ride, I think he's over here. Simon's a maybe, are you with us Simon? I'm not entirely sure. This could be you here. There's another EasyJet over here, which could be Scott perhaps. But we'll soon see when we get underway. I know Jamie was planning on coming along as well. Anyway, a very warm welcome to all those of you who are here so early and so keen. Um, I'm going to try and, well, there's quite a lot of you. I don't think I will try and go through all of you, but you are all very, very welcome. And uh, let's get on board and start setting up. Oh, Bobby, hello. Nice to see you here. I'll go through a few of you. Ben, Jenny, Air Trooper, Michael, Night at Night, um, Kai, Shireen, uh, Steve, Matt, <coughs> excuse me, Marcus, um, Scott, Jenny, and uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a good bunch. That's a good bunch to start us off with. I'll uh, I'll say hello to you as time goes on. <coughs> excuse me, mm, just have to clear my throat. Right, hopefully that's a bit better. So we are using the new FS2 crew product specifically for the A32NX, which is quite exciting. So I'm going to start the pre-flight events on both that and on Pushback Express. Although, of course, we don't need pushback from this stand. Uh, it's still nice because it activates all the ground services and, and all of that sort of thing. <clears throat> So as you can see, First Officer does a lot more than he used to uh, in terms of setting things up. So he's doing all of the all of the powering up of the aircraft, which is very nice. Um, <clears throat> all we have to do is go up to the overhead panel and finish extinguishing the white lights and setting stuff up up there. So we'll make sure Nav and Logo are on. Crew Oxygen Supply on. And uh, he's started the APU. He does that straight away. You can either have him do it straight away or not at all. I would quite like to see an option for him to do it a bit later. But anyway, we'll turn the uh, no smoking sign to auto, seatbelt sign to on, get a little bit of backlighting going on up here because it will be dusky by the time we arrive in Gatwick, and we'll align our ideas. Amy! Amy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Good evening to you. It doesn't do, it doesn't do to leave out Club Filbert members. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome. <clears throat> Mark as well. <laughs> I've told you, Mark, you can try downgrading or cancelling. It just it's, it's not a feature that is part of Club Phil, but unfortunately. Gibby, hello to you. And William, welcome, welcome. There we are. So I'll certainly respond if you guilt trip me. That's, that's a good, it's a good tactic. Let's get our screens brightened up. And excitingly, we've just had Olbia Ground come online and ATIS. So we're going to have ATC for the first little bit of our departure. And I haven't even checked, but because Gatwick's always online, I'm kind of fairly certain that we will have ATC for our arrival as well. I have been getting a few stutters. Uh, I'm not sure if it's something to do with FSU IPC, which I installed to make the Bene overlay work or not. But we'll see how we get on. We can always quit FSU IPC if it comes to it. <coughs> Is this part of Club Phil the Platinum? <laughs> it might be. It might be. Origami Studios, welcome. Welcome. How are you? Uh, right, so we'll start setting up the um, MCDU in the AOC menu by doing our init data request which will import our flight plan an hour and 58 minutes expected flying time today and we'll go to perf weight and balance and refuel get out OFP and load our payload a little bit of a shake as the aircraft does that and then we can go back to the uh, FMGS press init request and uh, that will import our flight plan waypoint by waypoint um, yours is stuttering too. It's weird, isn't it? It wasn't earlier. Anyway, we shall see. We shall see. <clears throat> Good. You go out for the walk around, boss. Thank you very much. Be quick about it, though, because we've got, we've got a plane to fly here. People want to win prizes, you know. 
Uh, so, looking at the latest ATIS for Olbia, uh, wind 070 at 7 knots, varying between 040 and 100. Cav OK, temperatures 28, dew point 21, and QNH is 1013, which I always love because it doesn't matter if I forget to set standard pressure. A little tired but doing well. Yeah, I'm doing all right, thank you. Yeah, it's a big day for you. I'm not surprised you're tired. Uh, <coughs> Yours is still stuttering. That was your that was your X plane, wasn't it? Prizes Kai. Yeah, I should probably tell people a, a little bit about the competition. Um, so we're not going to start this uh, giveaway off until we're in the air. Once we're in the air, I'm going to ask a question, and it relates to Gatwick Airport. Once I've asked the question, everyone who is subscribed to the channel, you must be a Philbert Fly subscriber, uh, can type the answer to the question in the chat and will be entered into a random draw which will take place after we land uh, at Gatwick and after the engines are shut down. Two people will win a copy of Origami Studios Gatwick Scenery and the way it will be claimed is that I will ask you to send me your email address and your YouTube username, which I will double check. I'll then pass these on to Origami Studios, who will then pass them on to Innybuilds, who will contact you about claiming your prize. So that's how it's going to work. And I should say that uh, YouTube doesn't sponsor or endorse this competition, and you must read the terms and conditions which are linked to in the video description below. But that's all to come after takeoff. Uh, for now, for now, we should probably start moving towards takeoff. Uh, tune Olbia Ground on 121.95. Ah, oh, that's also very convenient. The default standby frequency. Uh, we'll do our init A page. Oh, we've done our init A page. <laughs> so we are ready to get our clearance. Uh, what stand are we on here? I've forgotten 108, was it? Yes, 108. Hi, I'm back. No issues on the walk around. That was a quick walk around. Well done. Well done. And there's, uh, there's Ben getting his clearance. Please refile. Thank you. <laughs> Please refile. Oh, dearie me. It's usually me. It's nice when it's someone else. I'll be ground. Good evening. Easy 31 Tango Juliet on stand 108. Type A320 with information. Bravo. Request clearance to Gatwick, please. Easy 31 Tango Juliet. All be Good evening. Info. Bravo. Correct. Clear to Gatwick via the Okiva 7 Kilo departure. Runway 05. Initially climb 5000. Squad 5501. Cleared to Gatwick via the Ol Okiva, uh, forgive me, 7 kilo departure, runway 05, initial climb 5,000 feet, squawking 5501, easy 31 Tango Juliet. 31 Tango Juliet, correct. <laughs> oh dear. Right, <coughs> so 5301, don't put your altitude in the transponder, that helps nobody. 5301 on the box. Altitude 5,000 feet. And we can set up our departure now. Runway 05. Thanks for much information. Bravo, correct. Clear to London Gatwick via the Okiva 7 kilo departure. Okiva 7 kilo departure. Initially climb 5,000. Squawk 5504. And dare we set up for our arrival? We probably should. We probably should. Uh, so, currently, the weather at Gatwick is, uh, if I remember rightly, uh, a westerly wind. So, we'll be expecting runway 26 left. Yeah, it's 220 at 6. And in our flight plan, we are expecting the Kunav 1 Golf arrival. Uh, with information for our Q &A for one so the reason one I'm doing this on the ground is because um, if you do it in the air, then the plane is likely to do weird things in MSFS. So if we have to change it, we have to change it, but at least we are reducing the risk of everything going horribly wrong. <laughs> Maybe leaving Vienna too late, heading to some small service airport, it's going to be dark. So, oh, good luck! Sounds fun though. Sounds fun though, uh, Jenny. Yeah, that was that was karma. That was textbook karma. 
<laughs> for my tango correct. Okay, so we'll go to our init B page now, import our zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity, punch in our block fuel, which is 7.6 tons to the nearest 100 kilograms. And we'll set up our perf page. I've calculated our uh, V speeds, but someone helpfully pointed out that the V speeds in the takeoff calculator I used to use are really designed for the CO, not the NEO. So I'm only going to take the flex takeoff temperature, which is 50, and I'm going to use the speeds that the A32NX wants me to use. Oh, sorry, I have to put my flaps in. We're doing a flaps it's one plus one effort takeoff. Good evening. Information Bravo, <coughs> correct, clear to Gatwick BTO, Kiva, 7 kilo departure, runway 05, initially. And the transition level is 6,000 feet here. 133, 134, and 138. Hello, Chris, welcome. How are you? Melon, good evening. Good morning to you, it must be, mustn't it? You just up. Uh, DD Velo, welcome. Great to know what time I do the live stream. Good, good. I'm very well, thank you, Owen. Yeah, how are you? Feels like it's been a while. Nah, Jason doesn't fly along. Jason moans about Mark not doing VATSIM flights with him, but he's got the opportunity here and he just doesn't take it. <laughs> By the way, hello, Jason. I think I missed your arrival. Welcome. And you're flying out of... Sydney right now, Passaggio. Nice. Lovely airport. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Very well indeed. Right, I think we're okay now to do the before start checklist down to the line. So I'm going to be talking for the second time ever on stream to my computer co-pilot, which is always a bit weird, but let's give it a go. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. ADS. Nav. Fuel quantity. Hi, the security and safety oh, checks are all done. Are we good to start boarding? I'm in the middle of a checklist to be honest, but yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where were we up to? Fuel, right. Uh, 7560 kilograms. 7560 kilograms. Take off data. Set. Barrow ref. 1013 set. 1013 set. Down to the line. Long luncheon. Packing for Barcelona. Oh, lovely. Jealous, Jason. Very jealous. No, there isn't a manual, Dazza, which I think is one of the um, one of the drawbacks of it. The idea is that you can learn everything you need to know in the app. And you, you kind of can, I think, if you have some idea what you're doing. But if you're brand new to FS2 crew products, it is a bit tricky. But my top tip would be to open the fl click the flows button, which tells you what sort of voice commands you can use. Kai, I would imagine you're flying to Dalaman. But... Um, Nothing worse than being deboarded, Kai. Nothing worse. You're flying along, but not on that, so no fear. <laughs> good, good. Uh, well, good that you're flying along. And fair enough that you're not flying on that, It's not for everyone. Oh, that's fair enough, Owen. That's a good excuse. <laughs> Lucky Beagle, good evening. Oh, you're on ground, are you? Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for, uh, well, for being here. Bring me back to bring you back some olives and news. Absolutely, Pablo, not a problem at all. all. Right, so now really we're just waiting for our boarding to complete and all of our pre-flight events and FS2 crew to be finished. But we can just fast forward all that nonsense. We don't have to sit around here forever. Uh. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thank you very much. Uh, right, so we'll turn our beacon on to signal that we are about to start slash move. Uh, obviously, we don't need a pushback here, um, but we do have various ground vehicles, uh, which should some... Oh, he's, what's he, is he just starting the luggage? Come on, man. It's, it's no time to be loading luggage. We're good to go. 
<laughs> Fortunately, it's quite quick in uh, MSFS. I don't think we can actually fast forward that. Uh, I'll try f try fast forwarding to zero minutes and see if it speeds it up. If not, we can have a look at the luggage going on board, which is, you know, it's not why we're all here, but it's quite nice anyway. <laughs> Catering's finished. Yeah, I saw Ben. I saw. <laughs> Very exciting. I think Steve, Mark, and yourself need to go on a Vatsim induction course. Yes, I think you do. I tell you what, I'll run a personalised Vatsim induction course for you. Uh, I tell you what, Jenny, every sim I use, every sim I use, the ground crew either try to kill me or try to delay me. I just, you just can't get the staff these days. Oh, God, he's going to unload all three of these trucks, isn't he? Oh, no, no, just that one. Okay, good. <laughs> Simon, I think. <laughs> I should do, I should do. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, apologies for the slight delay to our departure this evening. Uh, unfortunately, the ground handling at Olbia is not quite what it should be, and we're just waiting for the last one or two bags to be loaded. Should be underway in the next five minutes. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> Definitely not pilot error. Of course not. There we are. Come on, get your silly conveyor belt out of the way. Oh, no worries, Beagle. That sucks. No worries. I'll, uh, hopefully, hopefully you can make it back. Good job we've got the delay with the luggage then, really, isn't it? Right, let's just get rid of our uh, power. Here we go. And yeah, yeah, we'll give we'll give we'll give Lucky Beagle a minute to come back. No desperate rush. Now, as you can see, the second problem with the ground services is that uh, we're basically going to have to drive through them uh, because this is not a pushback stand. This is the stand where we start engines here and turn around. And, um, yeah, as far as I'm aware, unless anyone knows differently, there's no way to actually totally get rid of all these vehicles. Don't blame the poor ground crew. They weren't the one crashing the plane. I, Kai, I'm not... Look, look, not everything is about Paro. Or split. Some things, some things are genuinely outside of my control. Not least, ground crew turning up too late. There is going to be carnage over there. That's why we're waiting for uh, for the ground controller to come back, <laughs> partly, so that he can uh, deal with the wreckage after I taxi out. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I have to deal with, Owen. This is what I have to deal with. Kai. <laughs> Coming on here and making sure that I'm never allowed to forget my worst streaming moments. Oh my god. What was that? Some kind of A320 just zooming sideways across the apron. <laughs> it's possible, Jenny. Oh, and another one. Bomb tech. Happened how many times? Once. Happened once. <laughs> how do you add the animation flight personal outside the aircraft? They, well, they're part of the sim. They're part of the sim. So you, you can either control them through the ATC menu if you don't have any add-ons. So, so on here you would choose ground services and then you would tune a ground frequency and it would give you a list of options up here to uh, call the stairs and the pushback target etc etc. Uh, what I use is at the moment 
FS2 Crew Pushback Express because it's quite a good pushback add-on. I also sometimes use Toolbar Pushback. So a lot of these payware and freeware pushback tools can activate the ground services without you having to talk to the um, default ATC. Good to go, boss. Grand, Grand is trying to come back, Ian. Yeah, he's trying to come back. So we'll give him another couple of minutes, see, what's ha see what happened. I think he had some kind of power cut. <laughs> well, Ribbon, if you clip it, because you can do clips on YouTube now, if you want to go and seek them all out, I will put together a Worst Streaming Moments compilation uh, <laughs> for you. Tourism's got to be amazing in Albion at the moment, but why would they all want to come back to the... I don't know. I don't know. I certainly wouldn't if I was really here. You haven't seen it twice from me, Bomb Tech. I've only ever once landed without gear. One, ti one time was the CJ4. Really? I have no memory of this. I, the CRJ I landed without landing gear on my last stream. But the CJ4, where was that? <laughs> oh good, good, we've got a little clip <laughs> already. In moments. Oh, this is to hold me to what I said, was oh it? Oh my god. What's that? Oh Alice In <laughs> moments. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a clip that Ben's done of uh <laughs> of that plane zooming across through me. Hang on, I'm going to try and show you. Oh no, it's gone now. Where's it gone? I don't know what's going on here. Do 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 do. That's weird. I can't actually put this browser source up on stream for some reason. Eh. Oh, there we are. Yes, there we are. There it is. <laughs> this is. No, it's gone again. I'm not very. Um, I'm not very good at uh, adding windows in, but I'm still. I'm going to try. I'm going to try because I need to learn these things. I try and show you the little clip. It's still a little bit in twitch moments. for my light liking, but um, in moments. Oh, it hasn't worked. It worked when I watched it. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> you can have a look at your leisure. Somehow, maybe. <laughs> okay, I think probably, though I'm sad to say it, we should, uh, we should get underway. So I'm going to start my engines at least, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, by the time we're ready to taxi, that controller will be online. So, below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Before start checklist complete. I missed your last comment, did I, Demetrius? Sorry. What did it say? Nah, you're going to have to post it again. Oh, no, you're going to have to post it again. 18 arrivals into Gatwick. Five from Alphia, really? <laughs> Is that after I had the awesome tutorial with the CJ4 coder guy? And then my next stream, I forgot to put my gear down, did I? That's embarrassing. <laughs> XP72 well landed whilst... Well, if XP72 can do it, anyone can. That's good to hear, Dazza. Uh, how much gap should we all have? I'd say, I'd say two minutes in, something like that. Cloud layer. Oh, I'd forgotten you were coming from Bastia Ribbon. Yeah, exciting. Did I just give that answer away on the Wikipedia screen? <laughs> Possibly, Steve. Possibly. Um, oh, Christ. What did I have up there? <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see what the question is, eh? Uh, ET is about two hours. Right, let's get some engines started. Come on, let's do it. Starting engine two. Check. Once again, 
100% certainty of life. There we are, Kai. Finally you have some faith in me. <laughs> oh, is he back? Or is that someone sending me a message? And where the hell's my V-Pilot window gone? Someone sending me a message. Uh, one two two point eight boss, which I've just tuned back into. Thank you, Bomb Tech. That's the main thing. Good evening, Robert. You're flying Gatwick to Ibiza. Nice, lovely route. Classic route. So do I. Excellent. This is Jamie. Uh, everybody say hello to Jamie. <laughs> Starting engine one. Check. Enough talk about my my gear now. <laughs> it's quite right, does it? Quite right. <laughs> Do I ever feel guilty if I have to step away for a long, from a long flight for a few minutes? No, no, not at all. I think anyone would. Yeah, you didn't get because we're all on ground, Jamie. We're all still on ground. Uh, I imagine there will be a new um, Dubai at some point, Chris. Yeah, I don't know of anything currently in the works there. Linus, welcome. You're not that late. It's all right. Uh, you'll have 42 minutes approximately without the live during your flight. Oh, that's all right. Right, it's two good engine starts. Engine mode selector back to normal. Get rid of the APU bleed and the APU. Turn on the taxi light. After start checklist. Anti ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. I have not set. I never, ever, ever remember it. I don't know why. Oh, now I've got that thing where my uh, cursor has disappeared. Yeah, back now. 30%. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Flight control check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. And we'll just let the uh, co pilot do his checks. And we'll get ready to taxi. I'll be traffic What? Slat's not in takeoff configuration. Well, that's the first officer's job. Deary me. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's all right. It's not a mad panic. We're still parked on a stand. Plane does like to uh, get overexcited about things, doesn't it? I no, exactly, exactly. Better. I even sleep through them. It's true. Am I having problems with updating VATSPY as well? Not at the moment, but I frequently do. I haven't even got it open at the moment, to be honest with you. We're officially a sixteen-year-old. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Demetrius. Cringy antisocial ass geek. <laughs> I hope you're having a really nice birthday. Are my cats still allowed in the cockpit? Technically, no. Um, no, they're not, but also I can't stop them. <laughs> well, I could, but I'd feel too cruel. Right, okay, there we are. I think well, we're finally ready to go. Off. I think we're finally ready to go. So, uh, All be a traffic easy, 3-1 Tango Juliet, taxiing from stand 108 to holding point Echo for runway 05 via Mike 
and Foxtrot. Yes, yes, we are ready. Let us go. I'll be in traffic. That fits to one hold the shot of Foxtrot for the sky. <laughs> what a gentleman. Bodger's demand, possible bodger just for this guy, <laughs> Albia Traffic, easy 4-Mike Tango will be pushing and start from stand 101 once the easy 3-1 Tango Julia has uh, got out of the way. Getting out of the way now, boss. Thanks very much, boss. <laughs> Who do you think flies the plane? <laughs> I really, Marcus. I did not know that. I thought I had to. Um, I thought I had to go to the menu. But no. You learn something every day. <laughs> so much passive aggression at Olvia today. <laughs> Still, it's very nice of you all to wait for me for once, rather than rushing off ahead. I believe this is an Edward 21 Neo. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Hello, Everide uh, Aviation. Welcome. Or Mike Tango to Tomcat 4614. Uh, you might as well go past me. Um, I still need to plan my push. Don't worry, I want to see the I want to see y'all behind Scott, so go ahead mate. <laughs> oh you naughty devil. Can I just remind everyone that this is a uh, family friendly stream, thank you. Don't forget the yeah, flight announ <laughs> the flight announcement oh, pre flight. Yeah, do you know I never bother with the announcements, I probably should. But now I need to get on with my uh, before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 1 plus F set. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. 133, 134, 138, flexing 50 degrees. V1, 1, 3, 3, VR, 1, 3, 4, V2, 1, 3, 8, flex temp, 5, 0, degrees, ATC. Set. Ecam memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line. Yeah, they don't get out of the way, Jason. They don't get out of the way. It's, there's really, with a, with a stun like that where you don't push back, there's no alternative, unfortunately. Uh, yes, indeed, Vatsim. Yep. And uh, Chris, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you for saying that. Uh, you're getting spammed with model matching errors. Oh, I always get quite a few as well. But, you know, there's nothing you can do short of installing every livery and doing your own VMR file. And even then, you're going to have aircraft types that you just don't have. Uh, yes, that's incorrect. <laughs> just waiting for the push driver to hurry up. <laughs> I know, it's exciting, Jamie, isn't it? Jamie's got Boris Johnson on board. Amazing. Amazing. Just waiting. Uh, they weren't killed. No, they were all fine. Couple of breezes, that's all. Um, what is my output volume for sound settings in V-Pilot? It is at... Well, I keep having to change it because it seems to vary between frequencies. But it's minus five at the moment. Okay, right, so nose light to take off. And then the first officer is going to do all Cabin his crew, bits. Be seated for takeoff. I'm going to turn on the runway turn Approach off lights. Path, clear of traffic. Checked. Below the line. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. T A R A. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. 
Oh, be a traffic easy 3 1 Tango Juliet. Line up and take off runway 05, departure via the Okiva 7 Kilo. Yeah, summer's definitely in full force in Sardinia. Glorious evening. Beautiful undulating runway. Right, let me get my feet on the rudder pedals. And we're good to go. There's an A319 on short final. He should have said something on Unicom then, shouldn't he? That's what it's there for. Ready? Ready. Take off. Check. Thrust set. Manflex 50, SRS runway, auto thrust blue. Except it isn't. Sometimes it doesn't come up as it should. But here we go. Checked. V1, rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. And here we go. Here what up. a departure. I love this airport. And I love this island. And I want to go IRL. Autopilot 1 on. Hello? <laughs> oh, he's done it. He just didn't say anything. It does, Melon. Yeah, it does. It's an option you can turn on anyway. You always go take it. You like to feel the thrust. Well, fair enough. It's not like you have to pay for engine maintenance or fuel. <coughs> quite the uh, quite the nose up attitude we've got. Mm, we're climbing out of here. I'm going to say that's fine, and it's just because it's hot. After takeoff climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Remaining at one. Packs. On. Down to the line. 1,000 to go. Oh, I should have done a screenshot there, shouldn't I? I'll do one now. It's not quite as nice, but... Uh, well, once, once we have the flaps up and we finish the uh, after takeoff checklist, past transition level, then, then we'll have our, uh, we'll start the uh, giveaway. Not long to go, I promise. In fact, because there's no ATC online, we may as well climb all the way up now to flight level whatever the hell we're cruising at, which <laughs> flight level 380. That's the one. Flap zero. Speed checked. What's that, Kai? Is is he the UFO? Is who the UFO? Is oh the <laughs> Flat first <officer>. zero. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I will get the flight. Yeah, you can, and I will. <laughs> what we'll do? We'll start the comp competition. Then I'll uh, I'll request a coffee. Set standard. Standard, cross checked, passing flight level zero, seven, five. Now. Below the line. Barrow ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Okay then. It is time for us to start the giveaway. Just a reminder of the rules. You must be subscribed to the channel. Uh, you must have read the terms and conditions linked to in the video description. I spend ages writing them. Have a little look so that you understand the process. Uh, and without further ado, 
The question to win one of two copies of Origami Studios Gatwick Airport add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator is what was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? What was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? And it's a two-word answer. Type both words in the chat and nothing else and Nightbot will hopefully um, add you into the draw. Devant us is the court, is la course. It is, it is, which is where Ribbon's taking off from. Starting I IRL tri flight training soon. Oh, me too. Maybe Skyed. Yeah, me too. Probably Skyed. It's that's really exciting. Where are you? Where are you going to be learning? <laughs> ben, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, Deary me. Hello Flight Sim UK, hello Cherry, Evride, welcome, Maximilian, all these people have just been waiting for this moment, Simon and Sam, hello to you as well, CK UK Mail. Right, good, so passing, well we're well past 10,000 feet, we'll turn the seatbelt sign off because it's nice and smooth, co-pilot you will notice has dealt with all the lights for us which is nice. the unsubscribed beehive ribbon oh I should say I, sh <laughs> I should say only enter once you can only have one entry um, if anyone keeps spamming then their entry will be excluded from the draw cool Caffle, hello welcome to you as well so yes if we want to get something from the cabin crew uh, we ding the aft cabin bell Hi, how can I help you? They say, hi, can, hi, how can I help you? And you've got a choice of things you can ask for. I'm going to say, one coffee, please. And she's going to ignore me. One coffee, please. Oh. Checked. <laughs> Not checked, I'm asking for a coffee. Maybe I've done something wrong. It does occasionally go wrong and then you have to uh, kill it and start it again. One coffee, please. Let's try dinging her again. Maybe I was too slow and she went back to serve the passengers. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, how has my speed brake come out? One coffee, please. Okay, I'll bring the drinks up to There we are. She had, she disappeared again. <laughs> Why no Hi coffee guys. for me? Thank you very much. There we are. She's very quick. She's very quick at making coffee. <laughs> Keep calling. She's going to get upset. She might. I don't know. That would be quite a good feature, wouldn't it? If she said something like, what now? Let me call her again. Hi, how can I help you? Some dinner, please. Okay, I'll bring them up in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think the co-pilot did end up Checked. going off to uh, hurry things along a bit. Hi guys, here are the crew names. <laughs> no way keep saying. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> checked. <laughs> Why is he still saying checked? I don't understand. <laughs> oh dearie me. No, I don't ask. I'm going to get some lunch later as well. <laughs> Fight crew ever. With the exception of the captain, Jenny, of course. Jason, I thought better of you. My goodness me. 
In the flight fact, you can kill the fly. I remember seeing that guy. I've seen that on someone's stream, I think. A 787 has, and a 767 have been to all. I can't believe that either. Wouldn't have thought there was a big enough market, let alone runway length considerations. Here's a shame, she don't get annoyed yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true, Owen, I bet that is what his home life is like. <laughs> and that, Kai, is yet another reason that I'm slightly concerned about you. <laughs> the flight crew is like Biden's Afghanistan if acting. Zanis, hmm. hello! You are a little bit late, but you're always welcome. How's life? Keep an eye on my speed brakes and flaps when you press the escape key. Ah, maybe that's what did it. I, I didn't take off with my um, speed brake. I mean, I couldn't have done. If I if I had, I would have got um, an ecam message at least. I would have thought. I don't know. I don't know. Do I know about Synaptic Studios A220? I'm aware of it. I don't know much about it though. That's true, Simon. It's a fair point. We should have clubbed together and uh, put everyone in one 747, really. I think the entire island flew out on EasyJet tonight, yeah. <laughs> EasyJet and uh, Thompson, because Ben likes to be different. Kai, I mean, I mean, you're still young, still young, and I, I don't, I don't like to preach at all, but. Um, it's it's quite it's quite nice not to kill people even if they're arrogant. <laughs> Air Europa seven eight seven and Azerbaijan seven six seven. Ooh, I might have to do that. Air Europa flight at some point. Hope he Aerosoft makes their Heathrow sooner rather than later. Yes, yes, so do I. As long as they upgrade it and make it fit for MSFS twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Co-pilot throwing a tantrum. <laughs> oh yeah, and of course Jamie's uh, UK government flight. <clears throat> do I use a mic headset? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, I don't do offline ATC anymore. I used to use um, pi Pilot to ATC, which is really good. But since getting into VATSIM, I don't think I've used it once. Thompson was bought by TUI and then became TUI Fly, I think, with various divisions. I know there's a Dutch division, a German division, and a British division. And, and Thompson Airways basically became the British division of TUI Airways, I think. I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't think Afghanistan is a topic to joke about. I quite agree, I mean. Um, can't wait deliveries online. Haven't heard about that ATC position in eight ages. <laughs> Correct. Good. Good. Oh, you used to work for Tui, did you? Oh, yes. You used to be a um, holiday rep, didn't you? Hmm. I think Pilot to ATC is the best of the uh, currently available offline ATC add-ons for sure. Although I haven't tried um, ProFlight. That used to be fantastic back in the day. Uh, I, I would imagine it still is. I don't know if anyone's got any experience of it. Should we have some tunes? I think, I think we're, uh, we've climbed above the level where we need to particularly concentrate. Let's have, let's have some tunes. And I think flying from Olbia, we have to start with Retro Riviera. This, of course, uh, is the sort of sound you'll get to hear if you make a donation to Club Filbert. Uh, not to Club Filbert. 
a donation to me, Filbert Flies, uh, which you can do if you want to by going to streamlabs.com slash Filbert Flies. You can also use the super chat, which is perhaps slightly easier, but then YouTube steals 30%. Um, and also other ways to support the channel, should you choose to, include subscribing, turning on notifications, smashing the thumbs up like button, uh, and joining Club Filbert, which is my YouTube membership program. It's a bit like Twitch subscriptions, except better value, um, with loads more perks. And if you'd like to know more about that, you can click the join button underneath the video. In Spain, you worked for the specialist holiday group owned by Chewy. Right, okay. Do you know, I've been on one package holiday to Marmaris in Turkey. Can't remember who we went with. It might have even been... No, I don't know. I really don't know. It was quite good, actually. It was better than I thought it was going to be. I went with my girlfriend when we were about 18 because it was so unbelievably cheap. It was like £150 each for a week. And we thought, well, how bad can it be? And the answer was, not at all bad. It was nice. Brilliant, Jamie. Brilliant. <laughs> Work time. Yeah, bad luck, Melon. Hope it goes all right. Have a good shift. Thank you, Simon. Uh, does Pilot A280C handle GA well? I've never actually tried it with GA, but I think it does. Anyone here got any experience of flying GA with Pilot 280C? Ah, good. So, glad you're home. So what have you been up to for your birthday, Demetrius? How have you celebrated? Uh, nothing, Owen. She can only respond to particular set phrases. You missed many A triple threes, but not today's. Good. So you're glad to be home then. Ah. Uh, I think we did, Kai. Yeah, I think we did. Now you mention it, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought that if you hadn't said it. But yeah, I guess, I guess we must have done. What is my favourite airline? Um, probably Asiana. Of all the airlines I've flown on, Asiana is my favourite. Ah, uh, what's this bomb tech? Uh, Pilot 2AC works well with GA. Good, good. But yeah, I mean, you clearly haven't been banned because you're here. I can't even remember what you said. Anyway, if you think moderating content on a YouTube chat is... Um a curtailment of your free speech then uh, that's a bit weird you got banned for joking about the fake president fake president oh god yeah you were yeah 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 you yeah I remember you were spamming I don't we don't tend to get into politics on this uh, on this channel um, we don't tend to be rude to each other saying people are drunk on power and we don't tend to talk about curtailment of free speech if you get timed out for five minutes. So I'm going to get rid of you. I don't think you seem very nice. And that's my choice. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, do I think that Delta butters their landings? I've flown on Delta. Yeah, I seem to remember it was a, I had a good couple of landings. Can I check I got a donation from you? Nothing's come through yet, Jason, but... 
Oh no, I have. It's just not doing any alerts. Oh Christ. Why are we not getting alerts? Hang on. I'm going to catch up with these. I've been missing every single one. Yes, I have. Um, I've got... I've got one, two, three, four donations, and you're each going to have your alerts replayed. It's my fault I turned off the alert box from uh, record when I was recording a video, and I forgot to turn it back on. Friendly319, aka Simon, thank you very much indeed for the £3.19. Very kind of you. One hour extra fuel for all the holes to come. Oh, don't. What I'm slightly dreading. Just slightly dreading this uh, this arrival, to be honest. Uh, Jason, thank you very much for the five pounds. And yeah, the induction course is going to be it's going to be hectic, but you're going to love it. <laughs> Look forward to the induction course, Paul. <laughs> Zillaman, Ben, fifteen pounds. I've told you about this before. You're not allowed to give me money. <laughs> we're just giving money to uh, PayPal, but thank you. Put it towards a third giveaway if I'd like. All right, yeah. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? There we are. There we are. We're going to have three winners today instead of two. Three copies of uh, Origami Studios Gatwick Airport to be won. I don't actually know how I'm going to buy a third copy and give it to someone, but I will make it happen. I will make it work. So, uh, yes, that's very exciting. And thank you, Ben, very much indeed. And last... to go. Okay. Checked. Um, last but by no means least, Little Jenny gave £5. Thank you very, very much, Little Jenny. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'll see they get it. Oh, well, thank you all four of you for your donations. I'm sorry you didn't get the alerts uh, straight away. That's very, very kind of you. I did, Owen. Yes. Which Brazilian airlines have I flown on? None. None at all. I've never been to Brazil, unfortunately. I'd love to go. Your message has just two freaking words, not even two words, two things. Terminal and one, what's wrong with YouTube chat? No idea. Has it auto-moderated you somehow? It does that for no apparent reason sometimes. What on earth is that? That's that's an oof landing emoji, kindly created for me by um, um, Harrison, and um, fortunately it hasn't seen too much usage yet. Yeah, I've never, you know, I've never been to South America at all. It's it's one of few continents that I've never set foot on, and I don't know why I haven't. I guess it's just a really, really long way away. But yeah, one day, one day I shall come to Brazil. Have I ever said a bad word? Yes, I, yes, I have. I, I um, I swear quite a lot in real life. I just, I just try and keep the stream swearing free for the sake of the children, you know. But the children are the worst these days. We were talking about this earlier in the. Uh, Discord chat. <laughs> Could fly on the sim in Brazil? I have. I have. I've done a flight in Brazil. Uh, where did I go? From from Rio to somewhere. Honestly, can't remember. It was ages ago. But yes, I'm sure I shall be back when we have some more uh, some more nice scenery.
So you, what did you say? Terminal 1, what was it in relation to? Sky edits, hello! Ah, you'll be training at New Key. Oh no, what a beautiful part of the world to fly. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to be going to North Wheels, uh, just northeast of London. Did he really, Ben? What a little charmer. I dare say, I dare say he's, he's got some issues. And we should be, uh, I don't know, a little bit sympathetic to people who have seen God knows what horrors. But still, yeah, no place for that here at all. I mean, I mean you and William, Kai. Yeah, mostly. Oh, Skydis, I didn't even... I missed your donation. Thank you very much for the £1. That's really kind of you. Thank you. And a reminder, if anyone else is uh, is looking for some love this evening, uh, you can donate as much or as little as you like via streamlabs.com slash filbertflies. <laughs> no worries, Jason. If I don't speak to you beforehand, enjoy your trip. should be awesome, and I'm very envious. There's a programme Brazil sim up. There is indeed, yeah. Yeah, that'll be a great time to visit. Oh, me! Sorry, I thought you were talking about that guy he, um, you, that I banned. Sorry, me? Oh. I've come close, but I've... <laughs> I've not come that close. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. It's your answer to my giveaway question. Well, it's incorrect, Demetrius. <laughs> you flew from Tabatinga to Manaus. For, oh, gosh, I can't even pronounce some of these places. In the World Cup? Were you, were you involved in the World Cup, Matt? Or were you, were you spectating? No, love ain't free here, Jenny. Quite right. Lucky Beagle, don't apologise. Don't apologise. I'm so sorry that it packed up for you. That really sucks. Would have been lovely to have your control. And uh, but thank you for trying. It's really appreciated. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. For sure. Joy if, if you're not already in it, Lucky Beagle, um, come join my Discord. We'll arrange an another trip to, uh, to Olbia. Uh, Cockbret, by the way, uh, the giveaway, I, I don't have a command for it, but I can tell you all about it. Um, the prize is one of three copies of, um, what's it called? <laughs> Where are we going? Gatwick. Origami Studios Gatwick Airport Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And to enter, you have to answer the following question. Having read the terms and conditions which are linked to in the video description. What was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? What was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? It's a two-word answer. Type both words in the chat, nothing else, and you'll be entered into the competition. Oh, you're right, Ben. I'll do it now. Love is free. It just <laughs> Love is free once you've got it. Why is my Volanta showing on the stream? Oh my goodness me, I'm having a bad Streamlabs day today. There we are. I was so pleased with myself because I got set up for this stream about an hour early. I was ready to go, I was all relaxed. The one thing I hadn't done is start my Volanta. There we are. It's on now. Ooh, ribbon's a long way ahead of us. Are you also coming to Gatwick Ribbon, or are you uh, are you heading to a different airport in your CJ4? So we are about to hit the south of France. 
Uh, overhead Monaco, there or thereabouts. <laughs> Don't you dare update the Wikipedia page. After the Brazil update, we can do a stream between SPB, is that Brasilia? And Rio, yes, we should. Funnily enough, Passagero, for our next Club Filbert Silver group flight, which we do once a month, we are flying in Brazil. We're taking off from Rio, and Steve, Steve Scouse Steve in the chat, is uh, has got a little flight plan. He's going to give us a guided tour. So, you know, if you would like to join Club Filbert Silver and fly along with us, that would be awesome. Also going to Gatwick, but you're usually slower. Yeah, yeah, we may we may be able to uh, catch you up a little bit. Ben, you asked earlier about Twitch when. And the more I think about it, the more I think maybe Twitch soon. Manuel, ciao! Uh, si! Si, no, uh no way, let me think about this. I might be able to get this sentence right. Noi seguamo dall'Italia? Perhaps. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation, mate. Very kind. When and why? I don't know when. And why? Because it's not so much why as why not. Why don't I just why don't I just try it? The worst that can happen is that nobody watches me and no one likes me. You know? And then I'll come back to YouTube where people do watch me and do like me. Uh, yes, I think I put it in the video description. Let me check. No, please, no, you hate Twitch. Do you hate Twitch? Why? I'm not saying I'll do it instead of YouTube. I'm just saying I might do it as well. See? Il italiano è... Uh, il mio italiano è bene? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, can't even find my video details to check now. Yeah, I, there, there is a link in the video description. I'll bung it here. I think that's the right link. Quite anxious about the approach today. Yeah, me too. Me too. Actually, that link is out of date. That isn't it. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna find an updated link and uh, stick it in the video description. Origami, if you're still watching, your scenery is not... I can't find it on the Innybuild store. I know it's for sale, I know it's there. But if I go to store and then scenery and then Origami Studios, it's only got your, your X-Plane version there for some reason. It does say coming soon. Oh, I found it earlier! And it was definitely for sale. And now I can't find it. Unless I've had to take it down for some reason. Seems unlikely. Because I saw it and it had a buy now button 
and it was £19.99. <laughs> Can't buy that there, sir. No, apparently not. I don't know what to suggest. Hopefully, hopefully Origami Studios are still watching. Um, if not, if not, I'll, well, I'll, I'll ping them an email after the stream. Right, that playlist has ended. What should we have now? Let's have some upbeat indie. Before I start offending Italians, it suggests I stop my... You, he's impressed, actually, Kai. I think you'll find. I could alternate. Yeah, I could alternate, or I could... Yeah, we'll see. The new Marrakesh Airport Terminal looks actually good. Like, too good. Oh, really? Yeah, the X-Plane one is £19.99, but I, I definitely found the MSFS version earlier when I was checking if it was released or not, and that was also £19.99. Just departed Gatwick off on Vatsim off to Beer. It's very nice. Very nice. Have a good flight, Max. So we got Approach. We got approach. We got tower and ground as well. Some 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 uh, dispute about this. Ian says no. And Jamie says yes. Do I know why there's no proper add-on for the A380 and partly for the A350 too? Um, my understanding is that it's quite hard to get hold of the technical documents that would allow them to be created in the sim. Oh yes, whoever was asking earlier, my VAT spy is also not working. Wing view, wing view, that's what we need, we haven't had a wing view. Beautiful views over the south of France. Yours is an EGKA has an AGT and a green ring around it. <laughs> Caffle, I'm sorry, I should have done this much sooner. Don't know what I was thinking today. Just didn't occur to me to do a wing view. Well, if none of us can see for sure what's online, it just adds to the excitement, doesn't it? So, XD992 Jack, thank you, welcome to the channel, thank you for the sub. Um, according to Volanta, we have Approach, Gat Gatwick Director, but that's it. I can't see a, a tower or an ATIS. Or a ground. It's a pity. I was hoping for a bit more, um, a few more centres online on route as well. Dale, greetings to you. Welcome, welcome. Okay, a lot of people saying ground tower and director. I'm inclined to believe that. Uh, just one of those things. Obviously, all of the apps are a little bit uh, temperamental. Will I ever get the black box simulation Britain Norman 2 Islander for MSFS? Never say never, Ben. But it's not a plane that particularly excites me at the moment, which is why I haven't already got it. Oh, you've just flown out of there. Awesome. Reliable source, Richard. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, Streamliner. Glad you're enjoying it. Full house. Awesome. Sweet dad, dad rock, honestly. <laughs> you're vastly, says Delivery Grand Tower. Good. Good. 
19 arrivals. Okay. I'm going to restart my bat spy because I'd quite like to know what the deal is with uh, spacing. Because I really don't want to try and do a hold in the A32NX. I really don't. Just a reminder to anyone who's joined uh, recently, we're running a competition uh, where you can win one of three copies of uh, Origami Studios uh, Gatwick Airport Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Terms and conditions are in the video description. But in short, to enter, you need to answer the following question. What was the original terminal at Gatwick Airport called? It's a two-word answer. Type the two words in the chat in a message on their own. You'll be entered into the draw, which will take place after we shut down the engines at Gatwick at the end of the flight. Strandhyman is going very well, thank you. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Spacing is looking good, excellent. Restarting doesn't help me. Weird. You break your wrist twice and your opposite elbow. But you st oh, George, I'm so sorry. How did you do that? And you still watch my. Well, I'm glad. I guess. I guess there's less to do and more time to watch my streams. If there's, if there's any silver lining to this. doesn't matter what you edit, Demetrius. The answer is the answer, whatever Wikipedia says. <laughs> Check DMs, boss. Right, thank you, I shall. Oh, my vet spy appears to be working. Ah, thank you. Thank you. A list of arrivals. Which I should be able to get myself now that my bat spy is working. Just a reminder, if you'd like to support the channel, if you enjoy what I do, make sure you subscribe, click the thumbs up button, and if you'd like to make a donation, you can do that via streamlabs.com slash philbertflies, or you can join Club Philbert, which is my YouTube membership program. Click the join button below the video for more details. It won't interrupt your viewing. Your plane is so heavy, you just only reached the cruising up. Blimey! That is crazy. <laughs> How heavy are you? You fell off your bike, you're in corners, so the hospital is just full of holiday make. Oh, God. Nasty business. Well, I hope you get well soon, George. You'll take all the whole. Thank you. That's really, that's very kind of you, Sam. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. Oh, that's fine then. It's a 15 minute gap between me and the arrival before me. The rest of you might have difficulties, but I shouldn't. <laughs> So we've got uh, me arriving at uh, 2019 Zulu, so in exactly an hour, according to Batspy. Jamie arriving at 2022 Zulu, three minutes later. Uh, Ian arriving after him, five minutes later. Uh, ben, six minutes after him. And then someone else. Uh, and Scott both arriving at the same time and then Simon. This is amazing. Thank you all so much for coming. It's really nice to have so many people to fly with. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six of us. Six of us flying this trip today, which is awesome. Am I excited about the Phoenix A320? Not half, night at night. Not half. Can't wait for it. Have ever flown to Split? Yes, I have cockbred. Very recently, in fact. 63.5 tons. Okay. God, you are heavy. So this is something that happens with FS2 crew. The, the co-pilot turns his seatbelts on as soon as he thinks you're descending. Which can be 
even when there's a little bit of a bump like like now and the altitude wanders at all. It's a bit of a shame. Passagero del Mundo, welcome to Club Filbert Silver. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed for signing up. That's awesome news. Nice to have you aboard. Now, if you're on Discord, which I, I imagine you probably are, just make sure that you have linked your uh, YouTube account with your Discord account from the settings, and then you'll automatically get access to all of the uh, Club Filbert bronze and channels bronze and silver channels in the server. Now you should get an alert. There he is. <laughs> Do you get a prize for being first? Sadly not, Ribbon. Sadly not. Enjoy your landing, Kai. See you later. Of course I won't crash into <laughs> it. Helps. So if you edit it, what will happen? Well someone will edit it back. Wikipedia's, especially if you're not a known editor, I think they I think they double check what you do before publishing it to make sure no one's messing about. So you know how everyone says Australia's hot? Well down here in Tesla your average temperature for summer is around about nineteen degrees and when Really? I would, I would have thought that Tasmania was was not particularly hot, but I would have still thought it would be hotter than the UK. But it sounds like it's pretty similar. Interesting. Flew to Hobart not that long ago, actually. Then, beautiful place from the looks of it. Strandheim, and have I ever flown to Allison? Mm, no, I haven't. I haven't, because there aren't many real-world A320 routes, if any, to it. But, watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> I can't say any more. Tom, hello, welcome. How are you doing? I wish you had money for Club Filbert as well, Owen. But you mustn't feel sad about not. It's, it's, it's there as an option for people who want to support the channel. Um, but obviously, most of what I do, 90% of what I do is for everyone. So I don't want anyone to feel hard done by because they can't afford it. You were four minutes behind. If, you, if I answered your question... Oh, yes. Oh, you heard my answer. Okay. <laughs> it is. Thank you for that suggestion, Tom. That saved me a lot of admin work. No, Dimitris, it's not worth it. <laughs> not bad views, eh? You'll only be silver. No worries, Mr. Joe. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Tuesday, you flew to Canberra and it was zero degrees. Didn't know Oz was. No, I no. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known that it got to zero degrees in Canberra either. Daniel, hello, welcome. How are you? You can, Jack, if you're on Vatsim. Because Tassie's got a cleaner atmosphere, when you get a 35 degree day, it feels like 45. Oh, really? Mm, you're right, interesting. I think so, Demetrius. I, I never suggested you should sign up to edit Wikipedia. <laughs> I think you, you, you're probably the last person who should be signing up to edit Wikipedia because you have ulterior motives. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I said there were six of us, but in fact, of course, there are seven because um, Ribbon's also flying with us, just from last year instead of Olvia. Your birthday's tomorrow, Daniel. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Oh, does it? Okay. 
We're there from Alison to Gdansk. Or vice versa. And we do have a reasonable freeware soon for Gdansk, don't we? I'm going to make a note. I'm going to make a note of that. No promises, but I would like to fly there. Is there a possibility for a flight from Nish to Vienna? I've, I've already done uh, Vienna to Nish, actually, Alex. So, um, maybe one day, but it's probably not going to be that soon because it wasn't that long ago that I was last in Nish. In fact, that was my... that. What was that for? I think it was my... Was it a 3,000 subscriber giveaway? Maybe? Must have been a fair while. Anyway, I'll put it on the list. It's on, it's on the maybe part. Both those flights are on the list. Um, did two flights yesterday. Did the R902 into Santos Dumont and then gave Tom Conton a crown. He went, well, oh, congrats. Nothing more satisfying than nailing an approach like Tom Conton. Population is only 500,000. Oh, in Tasmania, really? That's true. Eight if you, if you count Steve. True. Oh, okay, Tre Treedwen. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Treedwen, I think. <laughs> Treedwen, maybe. Anyway, good. How are your audio settings? I was wondering why you were thanking me for uh, Vienna on the on the on the Discord. I couldn't remember. Couldn't remember. That's uh, now that, oh, good. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Definitely gets intense on that final turn. Yeah, I think I've only done it once, and it wasn't a roaring success, if I recall. <laughs> Am I scared of the future as a pilot? Because you heard that in the year 2025, it is allowed that only one pilot is sitting in the cockpit of an A350. Mm, I haven't heard that cockpit. So... Yeah, I guess that will have an impact on, on, on pilot. Or the need for pilots. At the same time, and they do this quite often, and I'm not entirely sure it isn't just to persuade people to spend lots of money on pilot training, they are saying that there's going to be a pilot shortage in Europe. And I know Ryanair are on a recruitment drive. It's, it's a very, very turbulent industry. Um, I, I wouldn't want to be a commercial pilot for that reason. Uh, there's just too much risk of, of being laid off. Hello, Mimo. Will it be a night landing? No, it might be. It'll be sort of a bit dusky, but certainly not night time. Probably not going to take too long, then nobody is sitting on... I think that will take a very long time, Cockbrae. I think, regardless of whether pilots are required in the cockpit, I don't think people are yet trusting enough of technology to get on a passenger plane with no one actually flying it. Uh, I'm using the dev version at the moment, uh, Andre. The experimental version is a thing, but it's very out of date. They haven't updated it for a long time, so dev is the latest and most up-to-date. Very excited for the arrival. Yeah, me too. Me too. Slightly anxious, but now I've seen there's a big gap in front of me. Not as anxious as I was. Uh, it went a lot better than your first time since it, since you'd done it once before. It's a lot less pressure. Brought it down nicely. Yeah, they do. Innsbruck is not that hard in the grand scheme of things, is it? We were saying earlier in the in the, I think it was in the Discord uh, Club Filbert chat that it is weird how much you feel the pressure when you're flying a difficult approach, particularly on Vatsim. Um, when you know in your heart of hearts, it really, it doesn't matter that much. It's, it is a computer game, but you do you get sweaty palms. You really feel feel the pressure, don't you? 
No, this is the, the dev version uh, bike to mist. New flight plan page. I wasn't aware of a new flight plan page, to be honest. The joys of having a classic car. Tell us more, Riley. Tell us more. I'm going to nip and get a beer quickly. Uh, and I'll be back in a second to read about it. I mean, it's always it's always had airways. Are, are you talking about the custom flight plan manager? Because that isn't out yet in any of the versions. I'm not using it. Yeah, it, yeah, I know. It was for me as well. I don't know, Demetrius. I've always thought that you have a too low an opinion of your English language skills. <laughs> They're very, very good. I reckon you, you could well edit a wiki thing. The old one didn't show airways on top of waypoints. A bit, I mean, it's done this for a long while, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I don't know. I updated it today. It's the latest dev version. This is what it looks like. Oh, no, no. Don't worry, Kai. I'm only having a few sips before that. Nothing to worry about. Be a time it is, Simon. I think so. It's Thursday evening. I've just finished a run of nights. And uh, Ben put the idea in my head. So, so <laughs> and as we know, I'm a very suggestible person. You are moving your treadmill into the garage, so you had to move the car out. The engine cut out halfway down the ramp, and that won't start. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Riley. That does not sound like a fun evening. Swamp Flies, hello. I'm glad you managed to make it as well. Yeah, my day's been very good, thank you. Um, well, yeah. I finished my last night shift this morning at 6 o'clock. Came home, did a flight. Fell asleep on the sofa for three hours, did another flight, and now I'm doing another flight. <laughs> That's been pretty much it today. Oh! That is a bit of a problem, Passenger, but it's not an insurmountable one. Uh... I'll sort it out for you. Drop me a drop me a DM on Discord. I'll make sure you're you're, uh, you're added in manually. Not gullible, Kai. Suggestible. It's a diff subtly different thing. <laughs> can yes, I can. Yes, I can. Definitely. After the stream, I'll get on it, Pastor Jerry. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Simon. Hold. Do what you want me to. What, son? <laughs> Left heading what? Speak clearer, mate. <laughs> Nightbot will still work, Adam. Doesn't matter at all. Even if you disappear completely, it'll still still uh, count your entry. <laughs> I suppose we probably ought to have a little think, just a just a gentle think about descent planning. 
Uh, so, expecting the Kunav 1 Golf, which takes us from Kunav to Amdut to KKE 64. Shall I show you? Let's show you. Where's my phone? I'm going to have to log in, aren't I? Oh, do I not have the charts on here? Oh, no, I don't. Obviously never reinstalled it after my reinstall. It's okay. I can show you in the separate app. Just in case you're all starting to panic and about not being able to see the charts. I've solved it for you. Panic no longer. So this is our star. Kunav, Amdut, KKE64, Timber. So our initial restriction is Amdut, where we have to be at flight level 160. So we'll use that as the basis for our descent planning. I'll pin that chart before I forget about it. Where's it gone? You can still see it, but I can't. Alright, it's back now. Um, and we're doing the ILS 26 left via timber, which as you can see is pretty straightforward. We'll almost definitely get vectors at some point along here, I would have thought if ATC remain online. But the idea is we go timber, which is the end of the star, I think. Yeah, it is. Timber, which is the end of the star, to uh, Mayfield, and then head northwards, heading 003. We want to be at 2,000 feet when we're 8.5 nautical miles away from Mayfield, and then we'll intercept the localizer and come in for a beautiful, a beautiful uh, landing on 26 left. But that is all still to come. The other thing I'm going to do is get my taxi charts ready so that when ATC give me in taxi instructions, um, I'm ready to go with those. And now I'm going to put in 160 into the fly pad, which I haven't even turned on. I'm so used to it killing my friends, but it doesn't anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic response, Simon. I will. I will refund you your last donation if you tell them that on the radio. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> You're at 17k! That is a long walk, Swamp Flies. Where were, where were you walking all that distance? And why? Sixty-nine nautical miles we want to start our descent and that is sixty-nine nautical miles from Amdut. Which we are still nowhere near. But we can certainly get a bit more prepared for the arrival anyway, so I'm gonna give control to the co-pilot while I set up the MCDU. You have control. I have control. So over to the performance page. Next phase, next phase. Uh, we'll get the latest ATIS. Yeah, I've lost my V-Pilot window now. There we are. Uh, so, the QNH is 1013. Ah, oh, 1013 for the whole flight. I don't think I've ever had that before. Temperature's 18. Wind is 210 at 7 knots. Transition altitude, I said we'd get the ATIS, I didn't, I just got the meta. But I can get it through VATSPY even though we're not in range. Transition level is flight level 75, so 7500 feet. And the decision height. Four runway two six left category one ILS is oh I don't have the final approach chart up three hundred and ninety six feet. Going to use auto brakes low, and that's us ready to uh, ready to go. Really, 
I have control. You have control. Now you are because you spent plenty of seconds in the editing mode, so you're not sure if you left it as it was. <laughs> it's alright, I'm sure someone will put it back if you've messed it up, Demetrius. Three possible places to be put in a hold, yes indeed. And I've got my eye on all of them. But there's a 20 minute gap between me and the aircraft in front, so yeah, touch would it be fine. But I will do my best, Passagero. I'll do my best. Etty Gaming, welcome! Oh, did you? You went there last month, you lucky thing. Yeah, Old Beer is stunning. Absolutely stunning. You made a clip, I need to watch it. Alright. How do I how do I find it, Kai? I don't know how I find my own clips. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah, Barry thing is the minimums call out if you're using a barometric altitude. DH or decision height is the minimums call out if you're using a radio altimeter uh, call out for a category 2 or 3 approach. Like, where does YouTube put your clips? In Jesmond, Newcastle. Oh, nice. Nice. Is the Copel able to land? No, he's not, unfortunately. You want me to what, son? <laughs> Left heading what? Speak clearer, mate. <laughs> that is quite a good, a good clip, Kai. You want me to what, son? <laughs> oh dear. So you use barometric altitude for any non-precision approach or a category 1 ILS and you use decision height for category 2 and category 3 ILS approaches. So it depends on the weather basically and the type of approach. Since the SU5 update that you don't see other traffic from a bigger distance. Oh really? I hadn't noticed that but you, you may well be right. Yeah, arrival in about 40 minutes. Yep, something like that. It's true, I have to say I haven't noticed any traffic lately. Strandhyven, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for the five pound donation. It's very, very kind of you. Thank you for entertaining streams. You're very welcome, you're very welcome. It's nice to have you along. Thanks. That is gold, it's true. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Hello, Augie, welcome to the stream. Or well, Augie, uh, welcome. How are you doing? How can I afford all the sceneries? Well, I actually get quite a lot of them for free uh, from the developers, Augie. Um, so I, I review them. If I want to review a scenery, I'll contact the developer. Um, and, and often they say, yes, we'll send you a copy. The rest of them I afford through people's generous donations on the channel, really. Satira, welcome. How are you? A night stream. You might leave early. You have uni exams tomorrow. Oh, Christ, yeah, don't mess up your uni exams on my account, Satira. But uh, very nice to see you, anyway. What, uh, what are the exams on? Had a great time. Flee the domestic Italian flight with a Voltaire A319. Nice. Where whereabouts in Italy do you live, uh, Etienne? Or were you, or did you um, connect in Italy?
Yeah, I mean, I mean, in the early days, I, I bought all the scenery. It's only, it's only relatively recently that I've got uh, the odd one for free. Help you lose a bit of stress. Okay, good. Mechatronics exams. Amphematics for electronics engineering. I don't know what two of those words mean. <laughs> but it sounds hard and complicated. Can't quite describe it in English as a joke. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. What are the best Middle East payware airports? Th there aren't that many of them. The only one I've actually looked at is, uh, is Islamabad. And I was quite impressed with that. And they've updated it since I reviewed it. Based partly on my feedback. So yeah, I can, I can vouch for that one. But uh, other than that, I've no idea, I'm afraid. Oh, mathematics. Okay, okay. I know the word mathematics. <laughs> Maths for electronics engineering. I can get my head around that. That makes sense. I forgot 69 nautical miles for our descent. Uh, from the charts, uh, treed we went. I made a video on, uh, on this. I'll try and get you a link. We won't, we won't watch it now, though. So it's covered in this video. My next flight is indeed going to be Singapore to Manila. Yeah, that's tomorrow at 1200 uh, GMT. Live in a small town in central Italy. Oh, okay. Flew there from Ancona. It's quite a small airport, but has some interesting destinations around Europe with mostly low cost carriers. Nice. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, uh, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. That would all be uh, very, very helpful indeed. As we, as we strive to reach 10,000 subscribers in particular. Oh, good news, Satira. You're going to fly along tomorrow. I guess you'll be done with your exams by 1200 Zulu, maybe? Two hundred and ninety more, indeed. Not that far off. Not that far off. Who does the best Adelaide? There's only one Adelaide. It's by Impulse Simulations. The best Australian airports. Hmm. For me, it's a toss-up between NZA Simulations Hobart and uh, Oz Scenes Airs Rock. Both of those are really good. Oh, and of course, Fly Tampers uh, Sydney which you can't really be without if you're in Australia. All three of those are really good. Watching the stream from the win window view of your flight, feeling like a passenger. Ah, <laughs> right, nice. <laughs> Not really, you don't know any of that. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Hello, Flight Simulation Channel. Welcome, how are you? I think you're right, Passager, overall. I mean, they're all lovely. I would say that the, the, the design and the quality of 
uh, Ayers Rock and Hobart is slightly better than Sydney but which is more useful get Sydney you can fly around the world get Ayers Rock you can fly to Sydney you'll have a look at the Meta in the morning for Blackpool and we'll yeah oh, oh yes yes yeah I well I hope you do get to fly then even if it means missing my stream what's the tap saying Um, is the Macau GCC worth it? Yes, absolutely. It's an absolute bargain. Ah, yeah, and the city pack. If you're going to get the airport, you should get the city pack as well. Oh, they're quite quite late then. After, I suppose not. I suppose it's only 2 p.m., isn't it? Okay, no worries. Kai, because. No, 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 no. Kai, one does not simply declare oneself a sky god, one must have the backing of others. And sadly, sadly, I can't support this at this stage in your career. But nonetheless, well done. That's a very good landing. <laughs> uh, Julius, welcome. Thank you very much for the sub. Yes, Demetrius, I am waiting with bated breath. I don't know, Kai, you seem to forget that I've watched you stream some of your approaches in my uh, Discord. <laughs> You're so excited for a good long hauler in MSF. Oh, me too. Me too. You'll log out from the wiki thing. Good. All right. Uh, well, Demetrius, I'll let you know if you've won. And uh, yeah, have a good have a good rest. I mean, you haven't, have you? I, just, I don't know. Have you entered? Do you know? No, you failed to find the right answer. But still, have a good rest and I'll see you soon. Right, I'm just going to nip to the loo before it all gets too exciting with the approach. Back in a tick. All right, don't panic, I'm back. If you win with Terminal 1 thing. <laughs> Your plane's just done a turn. Can you do a direct two, Ian? Normally, but not always, that fixes it for me when it does weird stuff. 54 minutes till your arrival, nice. I've forgotten where you're going again, uh, Mr. Joe. Remind me. U turn. How weird. 
Yeah, try direct if, if it hasn't lost your whole uh, flight plan. If it has lost your whole flight plan, you can sometimes import it again um, by doing what you do through the MCDU and the ATSU and the AOC like it's the start of the flight. I've had some luck with that before. Oh yes, nice. Nice. Auckland. I don't think I don't think I knew that. Look at Volanta, looks like you've done a hold. Let's see. I wish Philanta made it easier to jump to uh, particular people. Oh yeah! Looks like an almost perfect hold. Let me show other people. This is quite interesting. Not for Ian. It must be very frustrating for Ian. But from the cold perspective of a <laughs> casual observer, it's quite pretty. What his plane's doing? So you've been overtaken by Scott now. <laughs> and Ben? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I hope it sorts itself out. You've got ATC even though it's 4 a.m. That's amazing. That is lucky. I can't. I can't wait for Flight B Auckland to come out for uh, MSFS, especially with the Orbex mesh and everything else. Okay, Oggy, no worries. No worries. Good luck with the competition and um, good luck with school tomorrow. I really, really need to uh, come up with questions that have one very, very clear answer. I'm having to do a lot of manually ticking boxes here. Good evening, Danny. How are you? The flight is going very well so far. Yeah, no problems at all. Yes, indeed, we are We're going to be starting our descent in about 40 miles, something like that. So, yeah, good timing, everyone. And if you want to enter the competition, or if anyone else uh, wants to enter the competition, you just have to answer this one simple question in the chat. A two-word answer. And the question is, what was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? What was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? Terms and conditions are linked to in the video description. Make sure you have a read of those. And uh, we'll be doing the draw after we shut down the engines at Gatwick. Hello, Planespotter05. Oh, yes, yes, that was good timing, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, you've just bought the Ibiza scenery. Ad ah, nice. What do you think of it? We should do another trip to Ibiza soon, actually. It's been a while. Av, flight level 350. Hello in Tel Aviv. How are you? How do you add and where do you get the latest livery? You get them from flightsim.to and you install them into your community folder. I saw! Yeah, I saw Steve, you're ahead of us. Did you take off before us or are you just going really, really fast? I think it's alright, it's just a bit overpriced. Fair, I would say that is a fair assessment. It's nice, it's not amazing, it's a bit pricey. Your grandpa helped build it? No way! That's amazing! What a claim to fame!
Good, I'm pleased. I'm pleased, uh, AD. So yeah, for anyone who didn't get uh, the question uh, for the giveaway, the question is, what was the... Uh, no, let me make sure I phrase it exactly the right way so I don't get sued. What was the original terminal building called at Gatwick Airport? And you just have to type the two-word answer in the chat to be in with a chance of winning a copy. Hello, Sarah Bellum. Welcome. How are you? You're going to go and watch a film now? What? See? You'll never become a sky god if you disappear halfway through my streams to watch a film. It's just not possible, Kai. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your evening. See you soon. Oh, you took off ahead of me, right? No. Uh, night at night, you had the uh, answer I was actually looking for first time round. Um, never see you as long as you all win a copy. <laughs> Either way, it's going to work out expensive. <laughs> Your personal favourite add-on is Hamburg. Interesting. I like Hamburg. It's not my favourite, but it is. it is very good. You used to love this age, I know, didn't we all? Didn't we all? I think it will get better again. It seems to have ups and downs. I'm hoping that the custom flight plan manager will put an end to all of these weird turns and weird uh, uh, spaghetti approaches. Just two words in the chat if you want to be in with a chance of winning. Or the quality wing 7 a yeah. Can't wait for that either. Um, do you need any sorts of accounts to claim a copy? Uh, no, so the way it's going to work is I'm going to pass your details on, the details of the winner. Right, let me start again. Whoever wins is going to have to send me their email address and name via email. I will then pass this on to Origami Studios. They will pass it on to Innybuilds. Innybuilds will contact the winners about, uh, about claiming the prize. Full details in the terms and conditions in the video descriptions. <laughs> no, I know, I should have kept my mouth shut. Yes, that's a very good way of putting it, Ben. <laughs> I wish I'd said that earlier. <laughs> or just done away with the, the... I'm sort of keeping up with ticking the boxes of people who get it right anyway, but... Uh, um, yeah... Next time, a clear, concise one-word answer is what I'm going for. And uh, only, only need to answer once. And I can tell you that at this present moment... Hang on, let me just... Hang on. Yeah, only need to answer once, everybody. Please don't answer more than once. <laughs> Simon, I've got... I ticked your I ticked you off for the uh, other answer you gave. <clears throat> um, but yes, there is. <laughs> forgot what I was saying now. Totally, totally forgot what I was saying. Don't know. Probably wasn't terribly important. Uh, MSFS plane spotter 05. But then I've never really flown X-Plane. I fly uh, MSFS and P3D and that's it. Had a little go with a very old version of X-Plane and liked it less than whatever the Microsoft Simulator at the time was, so I've, I've never really bothered with it. Downloaded the latest dev and the overhead lighting isn't working. 
Really? Mine is, I think. Yeah, mine is. What might be worth doing is, is properly uninstalling it, Steve. Getting the latest version of the installer, deleting all the files that have anything to do with it, and starting again. So the in-sim time is currently 16.53 Zulu, so it's 17.53 UK time in the sim. Uh, Uncel Urglu, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for uh, your sub. And Julius, I don't think I thanked you. I didn't spot your sub, but you're both very welcome. Um, so yeah, it's, it's earlier than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, it's probably going to be still pretty light when we land. And we're now about 60 nautical miles away from Amdut, so we're going to start down to uh, flight level 160 for the arrival. And what I'm probably going to do is stop the music quite early and start ignoring you quite early so I can concentrate on my, on my approach. Get Gatwick Director's frequency ready. Will I continue to fly the A320X once the Phoenix is released? I don't know, to be honest. I think the, the, the uh, A320X is going to get better and better. So it'll depend what kind of a state it's in when it's out. Oh, well, I hope so, lad Ben. You're contemplating getting the 737 professional. Ah, right, yeah. I, w I wouldn't know, but I do believe the Zebo is all you'll ever need. Yeah, the Zebo is the main thing I'm jealous of from X-Plane 11, to be honest. Uh, no, I won't be buying X-Plane 12. No, I, I haven't got time in my life for three sims. Oh, you, you did that, you don't update it. Oh, I see, you always delete it. How odd. Hello, Flight Sim 123, welcome to the stream. What I'm going to do because I was too busy chatting to actually start my descent at the right time is just bung a bit of speed brakes in, get us down more quickly. <laughs> Aaron Fico, there we are. That is a uh, that is a fine endorsement of the Zebo. You'll be into Gatwick at around 9 or 10. What, Zulu? We are going to be in in about half an hour. So, uh, yeah, 8.50 Zulu, something like that. Probably less, actually. Probably more like 20 minutes or so. Oh, sorry, 10 to 9, you said. 10 to 9. Yeah, so we'll be in at about... 8.30 Zulu. Is Vatspy, Vatspy seems to be up and down. Uh, it wasn't working for a lot of people earlier. It's currently working okay for me. Uh, but it wasn't earlier, so... Ooh, we have... Oh, we only have London North Centre on at the moment. Flying on Ivar from Edinburgh to Luton. Nice, nice little trip. Yeah, but the Innibills A310 looks amazing. <laughs> it's pricey, I know. I can't vouch for it because I haven't flown it, but I know Ben loves it and it looks very, very pretty on his streams.
The middle panel flood isn't working either. I think you've broken your sim, Steve. I don't know how. No, for X plane, sadly, Pastor Jerry. So Callum, I see you on uh, Vatspy and you are going to be arriving kind of in the middle of our group. So uh, you've got me first, then Jamie, then Ben, then Scott, and then it's you coming from Dublin, and then it's Ian arriving at exactly the same time, which is worrying, and then Simon. Oh, of course, uh, Ribbon before that. He must be coming into land any time now, actually. <laughs> May have to raid the kids' bank account. Do it! They're kids, what do they need money for? If I could pick a wish list study level plane, what would it be? Gosh. Probably the 777, actually. Cabin crew, prepare for arrival. We'll stow the speed brakes because we are down plenty early now. Plenty early enough for Ambit. You had school today, it was quite good. Oh, that's really nice to hear, Flight Sim 1, 2, 3. I'm glad. Hear so many bad things and people dreading school. It's nice to hear you're, uh, you're having a nice time now. My, my day was okay, yeah, it was good. I was on a night shift last night, so I slept for some of it. Mostly did some flying. Yeah, I haven't done a huge amount. I never do after my nights. Looks like you're going to be in a while after me. Yeah, but I'll still be there, Callum, because uh, I'm going to wait for the other arrivals, I think. There's, uh, as I said, seven of us flying today, so... Bombardier Global 6500. Don't even know what that is. So, I mean, I, I assume it's a business jet, but I'm going to have to look it up. Ooh, that is a sexy plane. That is a very sexy plane. Yeah, I quite want that now. 1,000 to go. <laughs> um, as I say, probably the PMDG 777, Pastor I, I haven't flown that before, and doing a long haul in that does excite me. But I'm also super excited about the 737, because I haven't flown a 737 for ages either. And the Phoenix A320. The thing is, a 777 is a big, exciting long hauler, but in terms of what I would fly every day, it's going to be one of the short haulers. So, yeah, probably one of them. What about you? Uh, I work for the railway, Mr. Joe. You're off to get the A310. <laughs> Good evening, Callum. Welcome. How many passengers on board today? Um, hang on. 170. You've just subscribed and like. Thank you. Welcome to the channel, Flights in 123. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten the A220. I'm very excited about that as well. Oh, do you? What do you, what do, you do for the railway, Pastor Joe? What's our temperatures like? Plus nine. Let's stick a bit of anti-icing on for our further descent, I think. So we're over the English Channel now. Shortly be uh, making land in the south of England. And as we pass Amdut, in 3.6 miles, we're going to continue our descent to 7,000 feet, as per the approach plate. 
sorry, a star chart. And we want to bring our speed back as well to uh, 250 knots, so we'll start doing that now. And we've just got to contact me from Gatwick Director. Sub 621, Gertrude, uh, good evening. Uh, Stroke 2262 and descend to uh, flight level 170. Uh, question, descend to flight level 90. Flight 3 Gatwick Director, good evening, Good evening, Easy 31 Tango Juliet. Uh, descending through flight level 150 for 7000 on the Kunav. Uh, one Golf arrival, inbound uh, Kilo Kilo Echo 64. Is the uh, 3 1 Tango Juliet, Gadret, so good evening, descend flight level 70, squawk 5501. Descend flight level 70, squawking 5501, is the 3 1 Tango Juliet. Now, far be it from me to question the controller. But how can I descend to flight level 70? Oh, they've changed the transition level. They've changed the transition level. Interesting. It was flight level 75 last time I checked. Ordered flight tech, flight tech flight. Yeah, nice. Kalen, um, got with departure, Kalen, 442, climbing through plane. Oh, you meant about the planes. Oh, okay. You might be a little bit behind. Happens sometimes. Check, check your live on the stream. I'll try and try my best, Jenny. Climb 130. Sorry, did you say Squawk Aden? I said Squawk Aden. Okay, Squawk Aden, flight level 130, Kalen, 442. Yeah, we can pretty good evening, Major 718 with you. Departure from London City on the Dover 5 Tango Devotion, basing for 180 and basing Ginty with you. I'm going to put in a bit more speed Roger. break. Uh, F -France, one Yankee, I believe that's and we're going to slow down to 220 knots. From London City. So, uh, Monotinical Monty, Suda, and have a nice time. Uh, Monotinical Monty, Suda, and have a nice time. It's your local airport, is it? Yeah, it's a good airport. It's a good airport. Oh no, that sucks, passenger. It's uh, it's seven zero. Seven zero. Kenem four four two route direct to Uh, sorry, uh, KLM442 direct to, uh, can you repeat that please? Yeah, sure, it's Kenet, which is Kilo Echo. This guy's nice, Echo he's very Echo. friendly. KLM442 direct Kenet, uh, thank you. EZ851 Echo, sadly no further ATC, monotonical one two. It's the point at which you switch the altimeters from standard pressure, 1013 to whatever the local pressure is. Good night. He's the uh, 3 one Tango Juliet, he sends for altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1014. Do you send altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1014, easy 3 one Tango Juliet? That's 621, turn left and 280 degrees. Left to 280 degrees, that's 621. That's 621, stop the descent of flight level 110. That's the descent of flight level 110, that's 621. Right, let's get the seatbelt sign on. Delta three one nine four, get rid of the He is Ben, isn't he? Climb flight level one three zero. Climb flight level one three zero, Delta thirty one ninety four. That's 
621, D stands for Flight of the Niners, Harry. D stands for Flight of the Niners, Harry. Easy 31, Tango Juliet, turn right heading to 350 degrees. Turn right heading 350 degrees, easy 31, Tango Juliet. Los Angeles 337, D stands for Flight of Lake Zero. Get our LS button on. KLM 442, sadly, have no further ATC. Okay, the uh, ILS tuned. Okay, thank you very much for your service. And now we're on uh, vectors, what we're going to do is uh, check we're in approach mode, and we are. So we can continue our descent, our uh, always, speed reduction to green dot speed. Good evening, Tango Creed on top of Pike. Are you covering Farnborough? Um, sadly, no. Just uh, details of the giveaway are in the video uh, description, flights in 1, 2, 3. Do, so it's just I know, it's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. All right, well, we'll just uh, listen to you. Thank you, Tango Creed on top of Pike. No, that's no, the, actual, uh, the actual meta I was given as uh, giving the pressure as 1013, so it is, it is accurate, Steve. Easy, 31, it's gone up now to 1014. Decent altitude, 4,000 feet, easy 3-1 Tango Juliet. That 6 two, one turn right turning 0-4-0 degree. Right 0 4 zero, that 6-2-1. That 6 two, one descend for our 6,000 feet, QNH 1-0-1-4. Descent 6,000 feet, QNH 1-0-1-4. It's not four, nine, four, nine four, at night four, four, in the sim, two, it's uh, Los 10 past 6. Three, question Delta, 3-1-9-4, sadly no further ATC. So I always fly the flights at the time they were really flown, rather than uh, rather than live time. Keep the speed brake in. Get us down. Get us down. Look into three three seven. Turn right heading two seven zero degrees. Turn right heading two. The yeah, best part, indeed, Alex. I've done a video on that, Andy, actually. Uh, I can't really explain it because I'm concentrating too hard on the flying, but uh, if you search my channel for uh, SID stars or, or um, charts, you'll find it. Sorry, I said, said Andy. AMD. Uh, yes, that's right, flights in one, two, three. I don't, I fly, as I said uh, two minutes ago, Yastran. I fly the flights at the time they're flown in the real world, so I try and simulate them as realistically as possible, rather than flying in live time all the time. Turn left heading uh, 310 degrees. Turn left heading 310 degrees, easy 31 Tango Juliet. And while we have a quick lull, Going to pre tune Gatwick Tower on 124225. That's 621, turn left heading 360 degrees. 361, Tango Juliet, descend throughout your 3000 feet. Descend altitude 3000 feet, easy 31 Tango Juliet. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. ECAM status. Checked. Seat belts. On. Barrow ref. 1014 one, set. 1014 one, set. Minimum. 396 feet set. 396 set. Engine six, two, mode one, selector. Ten, three, two, four, Normal. Now, eight, reduce the Approach one, checklist two, complete. 4,000 feet average is in one eight, It is getting very exciting now, Jenny. Easy uh, 3 1 Tango Juliet, turn left and in uh, 2 9 0 degrees, you can throw out your 2 pounds. Safe dead island approach from me, Jessica. Left. Left Check. heading 290, descend 2,000 feet, and cleared for the ILS 26 left approach, easy 3 Check. on Tango Juliet. 
I wish you'd stop saying checked all the time. <laughs> Love into uh, 337, descent, flight level 7. 10 to go. 10 level 70, level 27. Flaps 1. Speed checked. Flaps 1. Yes, it is. It's called FS2 Crew. It's in the video description if you'd like Checked. to know more. Well worth it, in my view. Nothing realistic about flying airliners, single pilot. Hello. That 621, turn left heading 305. Yeah, Air France 155, turn right heading 0730 degrees. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Lufthansa 337, We're not in live time, Matt, we're flying at the time the uh, flight right really flew. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that 61, descend to altitude 3000 feet. <laughs> Very good, CKUK. 10, 3000 feet, that 61. DC 31 Tango Juliet, reduce speed to 160 knots, maintain until 4 DME. Reduce speed 160 knots until 4 DME, easy 31 Tango Juliet. Flaps Look 2. Descend to 337, uh, descend to our speed 4000 feet, QNH 1014. Descend to 4000 feet, QNH 1014, Flaps 2. So, localizer captured. We are indeed colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely uh, beautiful. It is push to talk, Matthew. That's the thing. I don't, I don't understand it. But it's set to my tiki. This is just spectacular lighting. No, look at that. Easy A two two. Get it. Good evening. A route direct to Holly. Descent flight level one one zero. Route to Holly. That 621, turn left heading 290 degrees, report local arch established to the class. Turn left 290 and we'll report established to the class, that's 621. Easy 31 Tango Juliet, contact Tower 124, that's 125. Tower on 124, 225, easy 31 Tango Juliet, thanks very much, bye bye. Bye bye. Look at the three three. Gatwick Tower, good evening. Easy 31 Tango Juliet, established on final 26 left. Easy 31 Juliet Tango, Gatwick Tower, hello, 26 left, establishment 21, 2 degrees, 5 knots, clear to land. Clear to land, 26 left, easy 31 Tango Juliet. Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps three. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Flight attendants. Min. One five. Minimum. Flaps full. Yeah. Talk to me. Flaps full. Please stop talking to me, I'll do it myself. Right, here we go. Low. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. Alright, Tweed, and I hadn't forgotten. <laughs> 500. Thank you, Riley. 300. 100 above. 200. Minimum. 
Continue. Checked. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. Retard. 10. 5. Spoilers. Reverse. Green. Decel. Welcome to Gatwick. 70 knots. Gatwick Towers at 621 ILS, 26 left, 6 miles. Up to, sorry, up to 621 Gatwick Tower, I don't continue very from my 26 left. Two left, that's six two one. Two eight six Two eight six Two eight six hello, via for one two six left, seven two one zero degrees, five knots, clip takeoff. Clip takeoff from my two six left. Three one two eight second right Julia. Second right Julia, easy three one tango Julia. Second right Julia, easy three one tango Julia. Not bad, was it? Not bad at all. <laughs> I was due a butter, overdue a butter, I would say. <laughs> After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist. You throw a Tango contact ground 121 dust Ground on one two one decimal eight easy three one tango Juliet. Thanks for the service. Bye bye. Juliet and Charlie. To Charlie one via Quebec Alpha Quebec Juliet and Charlie one room and double. Heathrow Ground, good evening, Easy 31 Tango Juliet, on Juliet, request taxi to the gate. Easy 31 Tango Juliet, Gower Ground, very good evening, sir. Taxi, for now, taxi hold short, Romeo via Juliet. Taxi hold short, Romeo via Juliet, Easy 31 Tango Juliet. And Easy 31 Tango Juliet, expect stand 557. Five, and we'll expect stand 557, five, Easy 31 Tango Juliet, thank you. And jet stand 95, Gower Ground. Ready for uh, Jester 95. Jester 95, uh, yeah, approach. Uh, Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Del uh, Nova, uh, So let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Jester 95, Roger. Taxi to. Taxi hold short of Romeo via uniform and Juliet. Uh, correction. Hold short of Romeo via uniform and Juliet. Hold short of um, Romeo, as I hear, uh, by Uniform Julia. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very hey, well, much. Hey, well, I'm not got my teeth in at the minute. Sometimes <laughs> forget I where I am. <laughs> did I say he throw ground? Did I? What a noob. <laughs> I do that quite often. <laughs> at Frankfurt, I once said Lufthansa Tower. <laughs> So just coming up to Romeo, sort of, it's the next big taxiway. So we'll hold short before it. Like here. Yeah, that was, that was one of my finest moments. Fortunately, Frankfurt Tower are awesome, and he found it very amusing. And then he, he told me, he told me on departure to do something like contact Iberia Centre on such and such. Tango, stand one zero one, push and start, approved face east, Q and H one zero one four. 
Uh, no AMD Myers, it's part of the uh, FS2 crew add on which is linked to in the description. Shower 232. Why does the drone do this? Uh, Shower 232, continue. Uh, taxi to holding point Alpha 2 by Kilo Papa and Alpha Sierra. Alpha 2 by Kilo Thank Papa you, Tor. Sierra. Thank you, Satira. Yes, you too. Good luck with your exams. I'm glad you managed to uh, yeah, stick around well, for the landing. That's 61 with you on the way left. Zap 621, Gamma Ground, very good evening to you. Taxi hold short of Romeo via runway 08 left. Expect stand 33 left. Taxi hold short Romeo via 08 left. Expect stand 33 left. Has he not done my strobes? Yeah, he has. It's just the reflection of the beacon, I think. All good. Don't need the anti ice now. Don't need the wing lights. Nose light should be set to taxi, and it is. Don't need the runway turn off lights. So we just need uh, further clearance to our gate. Come to ground, good evening, Shuttle Four Uniform. Hello, request I for clearance to uh, Dublin, please. Information, Victor. Aircraft type uh, Boeing 747-400, and we are currently at uh, the stand. Um, don't even know who this is coming Double in, but I bet it's one of us. Ground, so uh, we may as well try and go and have a look at them. To Dublin, Novema, one X-ray departure. Jamie's Relate down, as you may have left. heard. Walk six two five one. We're declared to um, Dublin, Novema, one X-ray departure. Walk six two five one. Travel for uniform. The lights are Double a bit uniform. Correct. Time. Also for reference, you're currently squawking seventy seven hundred. If you could just clear, that'd be great. I'm oh, sorry, that was my last flight, sir. So I'll we'll have to clear that now. Oh, that's a long day flight, Sim 123, if you're not used to it. Golf Lima 162, radio check, over. Golf Lima 162, hello, Reedbird 5. Yeah, some weird light stuff okay, going Dolphin with this 162, CRJ. Uh, requesting clearance to uh, Manchester via Lambourne um, departure, or was given earlier, over. Um, can you, you can taxi uh, in on Dolphin one engine, yeah. Golf Lima you cleared to Manchester, Lambourne 6, Mike, departure, runway at 26 left, squawk 7742. When to use, so runway turn off lights Seven, for six, Mike and seven, seven, four, two, take off and landing, one, six, two. and if you need them, also for taxi. One, six, two, correct. Landing lights from when you're cleared for takeoff until 10,000 feet, or from 10,000 feet until you've exited Charlie the Brown, runway. Evening, uh, Virgin 3, 3, Charlie, That's what you call dangling the lights, yeah. We haven't had the draw yet, Neil, it's happening after the engines are Virgin shut down. 3, 3, Charlie, good evening, Radio Blitz 5. Virgin 3, 3, Charlie, heavy at uh, uh, it's in the video description, Monty. Uh, with Victor 1014 requesting no, it's not. It's being told out by Nightbot, but it's basically Virgin what was the original name of the first terminal at Gatwick Airport. On the Nova 1 X-ray departure. Runway 26 left, squat 525. Uh, correction, 5235. Ooh, there's a little Cherokee or something there. Clear Interesting. Clear Jones via the number one accident by just two six left. Yeah, I wish the uh, rain repellent well, worked five, as well. Two, three, five, they do, three, they do, Robert. One of many things that they need to uh, Charlie, correct. Break, fix. break, Samrock 232, contact tower 124, decimal 225. Have a good day. 12235, uh, Shamrock 23, whatever my course sign. I forgot again, uh, Shamrock 232, bye. Remember, 18 Romeo, 81 Romeo Delta, contact tower, 11, uh, correction, 124, decimal 225, have a good day. 124, 225, thank you, sir. I tell you what. Easy, 3 one, Tango, on. Juliet, taxi to stand 557, via Juliet, Quebec, and Quebec Alpha. Taxi stand 557, via Juliet, Quebec, and Quebec Alpha, easy, 3 one, Tango, Juliet, and I apologise for calling you Heathrow earlier. Oh, it's fine, I've had been called a lot worse. <laughs> uh, Jester 9, uh, Jester 9 5, continue taxi holding point Alpha 2 by Juliet Papa and Alpha Sierra. Uh, Jester 9 5, unable, I've got uh, A320 right in front of me, I can't pass by him. Yeah, he's going to be moving shortly, sir, so just uh, when he moves, you move to Alpha 2 by Juliet Papa and Alpha Sierra. I tell you what though, not only does this guy not know how important I am, he doesn't know that uh, Jamie's got the blooming Prime Minister on board. There will be sackings, I'll tell you. 
Off Lima, 162, stand 561, push and start, approve, face south, QA to 1014. Face south, 1014, Roger. Oh, are we going to miss Ben's landing? Yeah, if it was quiet, I'd just stop here and go and have a look at it, but you can't, can you? Don't forget, if you haven't already, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. You have to be a subscriber to uh, be in with a chance of winning one of the prizes. So uh, do do that. It's not too late and to donate if you'd like to. You can do that via streamlabs.com. You can continue forward taxi forward. to stand 31. Uh, correction, you're changing to 31 left now via runway 08 left, Quebec and Kilo. 31 left via 08 left, Quebec and Kilo. And that's 61. Thanks, Steve. See ya. Cabo Drown, easy 3 8 Foxtrot Tango, ready to taxi. Easy 3 8 Foxtrot Tango, Roger, taxi hold short of Kilo via Lima and Papa. Uh, taxi and hold short uh, Kilo via Lima and Papa, easy 3 8 Foxtrot Tango. Right, I'm just going to pause here to check exactly where the 557 is. I assume it's all the way up on the left. It's not all the way up on the left, it's actually very close to us. Okay, fine. Just so you need to stop as a passenger guy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Steve. I will catch up with your chat once we're uh, parked up. 555. Dale, thank you very much for the sub. There's 557. Taxi light off. Just a 95, contact tower 124, decimal 225. Have a good day. 124, decimal 225, for just a 95. Thanks for the great control. Have a good day. See ya. Charlie Goff, Tango Oscar Mike at uniform with uniform, ready for push and stalt. Charlie Golf, Tango, Oscar, Mike, stand 233, push and start, approve face south, Q and H 1014. I'm using um, some model matching that's based on IVAL. If you have a look on my Discord server, there's a guide on exactly how to do it. Plus a few other VMR files for specific aircraft types like the CRJ. Here we are. So let's get the parking grid set. Quebec and Lima. Taxi to stand 1135 at Juliet, Quebec and Lima. Can you turn the engines off? And even though I asked for the taxi light to be turned off, he hasn't done it. Ugh, close the stupid logbook thing. Kilo, you can now continue to Alpha 3. Here we are. AP bleeds on, engines are off. Seatbelts can come off. Cabin crew disarm slides and cross check. Yeah, Alpha November. And he'll do the fuel Easy pumps. Three, Foxtrot, Tango, we don't need the APU. Turn That's the uh, Alpha external Alpha power on. Alpha Alpha Alpha. APU master switch Easy, off. Three, six, two, and we'll have the parking checklist. Taxi. Parking checklist. APU bleed. Taxi, off. No problem, Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. Exterior lights. Nav logo on. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and shocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Awesome. Right, what we're going to do is try and see a few more landings. I don't know. There's Ben. We just, just made it. I assume it is anyway. He's certainly uh, in a Thompson of some sort or a Tui. Uh, I think, that, yeah, we're going to say that's Ben. Not 100% sure, but I will catch up with the chat, but I know a lot of you have been waiting for the giveaway and we have shut down the aircraft engines. So it's time. The competition is now closed for entries. Um, I'm going to turn off the timer and we're giving away for those of you who may not have remembered three Easy, copies of any builds, sorry, any builds, Origami Studios Gatwick Airport scenery, which is where we are right now. Um, the first winner is, oh, before I draw it, you will need to email me 
at philbutflies at gmail.com with your email address and your name, which I will then pass on to Origami Studios, who will pass it on to any builds. So the first winner is... It's Passagero de Mundo! <laughs> Passagero, our new Club Philbert Silver member, has won himself a copy of Gatwick. Congratulations! Uh, the next winner is... Uh, left answer 337, no Tor, worries. Uh, Tor Ivor Faxon. Any available stand on the right, sir. And I'm going to make a note of uh, these. Okay, thank you. So I don't forget. 57. No worries. Sagero de Mundo. If you are on MSFS, there is some decent freeware scenery. I'm going to send you a link. Tor Ivor Faxon. Thank you. And I am on the MSFS. third winner is... No worries, I've sent you a link to it. It's uh, the freeware one. It's quite decent. <laughs> it's Ian. Okay, thank Mandalorian. You. Congratulations thank you, Walter, Mike, on your question. win. So, oh, to message. recap, three copies, two, three, three, three copies of the scenery the game. Uh, a have been won. Passagero de Mundo, Tor Ivor Faxon, and Mandalorian. So uh, congratulations to all three of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's come and I will now catch up with the chat, and we'll stay here and see That's who else fine. is coming. If, uh, Simon and Scott and Ian still to arrive. Yes, well done indeed. <laughs> My bot is really, really quick. You're welcome, boss. You're very welcome. Yeah, would it reflect the correct gate numbers on the little nav map? Over. Right, let me just. Uh... There you go, well, gents. Little nav map. That's who you win. There we are. Right. What have I missed? What have I missed? Let's let's uh, let's uh, relish the praise. The good hats off for a good landing. Thank you very much, Tor. Is that so? Uh, we answered yeah. that. So I'd seen that bit. Should you do a stream on the first officer side? I don't think I'd be able to fly at Satira, to be honest. <laughs> that approach was so much fun. It was. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I didn't. Of course, you're ahead of us, weren't you? So it didn't get to uh, didn't get to see you. Hope you had a good landing, though. What you hate is this is your first. Oh yeah, we've done that one. Done that one. Done that one. Done that one. Oh, who's this? Who's the 321? Is that you, Simon? I think. I think that's Simon. Let me uh, let me have a quick look at Valanta. Taxi hold short, Juliet. Ah, it's very behind, but I suspect that was Simon. We can't be sure. <laughs> Uh, airplane lights need to be fixed. Yes, they do. Rain repellent does need to work. That would be awesome. Um, world up delayed till September the 7th. Oh, thank you for the heads up, Robert. Any reason given? Um, that's, yes, in green. Ah, and that was what better late than botched was uh, about. Absolutely. Oh, you landed. How was it, Steve? Did you have a good landing? Uh, you realise where the light? You accidentally pressed L. Ah, yes, that does it. Oh, good. I'm glad you found the uh, found the answer. See you later. Do I think the A320 cockpit model shape is accurate in the sim? Yes. Yes, I do. I think so. I don't know who that was. Missed the landing. Sorry if you're one of us. Um, I use a joystick uh, app. My system specs are in the video description. First officer is a bit is a bit hopeless at times. It's true. No worries. You are cleared to Manchester. Lambourne six Mike departure runway two six left. Yeah, there are CRJs included in the Ival models, but not many liveries, unfortunately. I don't think. Shame some the other aircraft livery are default. Shame some the other aircraft livery are default. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It was a butter then he was <laughs> Caffel, did you not see my landing? Ah, uh, dear. You're too late, uh, AMD Myers. Ian, you spelled it right. Ian, you're also too late. Um, yeah, so congratulations to the three winners. Right, what I want to know now is who else is left to arrive. Via the number 6 November departure on 26 left. Um, Do I have Ivar Webby? No, I don't fly some 23. I never use Ivar. Uh, um, congratulations to the winners. Absolutely. Absolutely. Landing was 9 out of 10. Thank you, Pablo. I'll take that. 9 out of 10 is good. It's fun watching. Have to go. No worries, Dale. Keep wheels up. Thank you. When I 
pre- very, very relevant. Great, great Oscar, <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming along, Dale, if you're still here. Much appreciated. So I, I, I like the T16000M, but if, if your budget is a bit smaller, then I really think that the uh, Logitech... 3D Pro is quite a good budget buy as well. Uh, right, let me just refresh this, see who we're still waiting for. Ian is still out there somewhere. Um, I think he should be the third arrival now, due in about three minutes. So we may as well wait for him. Busy, yeah, Gatwick is always absolutely heaving. Busiest airport on that sim, I believe. Quebec and Quebec Alpha. In fact, if we go the other side, you'll be able to see a little bit of the airport as well. Do, if you haven't been lucky enough to win a copy, uh, do check out my review video of this scenery uh, to decide for yourself whether you want to buy one. I think it's very nice. Oh, that's Scott. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's who, but I think we've probably seen, probably seen everyone except uh, Ribbonland, probably. I mean, of the people who are down so far. Now, according to Vatsby, Ian is next, but it might be that he was that last landing we just saw. I'm not entirely sure. You'll be the Shamrock in Sim. You? Oh yeah, we haven't missed you. You're about five minutes out. Aren't you? And you ended up behind, didn't you? You were sort of halfway through the pack, and now you're uh, at the back for some reason. Oh, you're very welcome to. Yes. Yeah, so just a final reminder to the winners: make sure you send me your email addresses within uh, within 24 hours of now and I'll make sure that they're passed on to the relevant people. Easy 822, going ground very good, evening welcome. Yeah, I imagine there's uh, been more than you, that you taxi up today. Romeo, and have a little look. Stand in a moment. Expect stand 559. For those of you who are interested in this sort of thing, and I am personally not, my landing rate today was minus 158, which is, you know, it's a sky god level landing, let's not beat about the bush. <laughs> oh, very good, Ribbon. Really good. Where is Gatwick? Where is Gatwick? Found it, it's alright. Just curious how many arrivals there have been today. Now I'm sure. Ah, oh, flights today. Sixty-three flights today. This is Ian. I think. I think. Oh no, maybe this is a departure, is it? I'm a bit confused. No, no, maybe that was Ian. I think he was just a bit low. Or something. Something went wrong with the bat sim anyway. So I'm pretty sure that that's all of us. I think. You've gone past Quebec now. Uh, continue to Alpha 3 by Quebec, Juliet, and Alpha November. So let's see where everyone's parked yeah. up. I don't know. Everyone's in an easy jet. We won't be able to tell. Quebec, Juliet, but we Alpha should be November. able to spot Ben somewhere in his Thompson livery. Uh, ooh, Virgin Atlantic A340. It's pretty pog. That is pretty pog. Is that him? Not unless the model matching's gone wrong. Charlie Oscar Mike, contact tower one two four decimal two two. You had what appeared to be an A three eighty depart, really. Contact tower one two four. Oh there he is. Oh, they've shoved him all the way on the end on his own. Anyway, it's good for you to get a little look around the scenery, but as I say, if you want a proper look at it, then um, you can check out my review which I published yesterday. Oh dear, some kind of uh, scenery mismatch going on here. Still, nice plane, nice plane. Just on the localised. Oh, the guy, I know, he's so calm and 
friendly, isn't he? I know. They can be a little bit I'm short at Gatwick because it's, you know, it's a stressful but time. Well, for, yeah, um, it's, it's a busy, busy position, but yeah, he's been so great. And in fact, all the controllers have. Particularly, particularly director and ground. Hats off to them. Really, really friendly people. And Tower is good as well. Just don't have as much to do with them, do you? Cool. Well, it does have quite crisp textures, Jenny. <laughs> no, it does. It does. I love the two E737s as well. Used to do a lot of flying in them in the PMDG back in the back in the proper P3D days. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll head back to our aircraft, um, and we'll you know we'll wind things up for the day. Why are my strobe lights back on? Following the company A320 what is going on? Parallel taxi way, you can taxi <laughs> two, stand five, five, oh, nine, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, uh, back, I don't want that. Alpha. I don't want that. I want... Uh... Uh, go away. Go away. I can't close the... There it is. Right. What do I want to do? I want to connect the jetway, because this is ridiculous. That it, I thought it connected as part of the... Uh, um, FS2 crew flows, but I don't think it does. So we'll just uh, bring that up. Aircraft, jetway. It is EGKK, yes. Yes, I, uh, I was on VATSIM. And my beacon's still going. Honestly, this first officer. He's putting things back on after I've turned them off. I wonder if it's something to uh, do yeah, with break, break, your distance three, from two, the uh, tower, one, two, four, one, two, three, five. Have a good day. your distance from the plane in the drone. Could be, could be. Anyway, the jetway doesn't seem to want to connect here. I guess maybe this is not. No, this isn't a jetway stand, is it? I'm asking the impossible. We'll get some stairs. <laughs> you can taxi now. Stand one zero nine. And we'll get some baggage. We're back and Kilo. Cool. Right, so let me just go through and thank everyone. So, first of all, thank you ever so much to the following people who flew with me. Uh, we had Ben, Simon, Scott, Ian, Jamie, um, and uh, Ribbon. Great to have your company. I think that's the most people I've ever flown along with, and it really does add to the experience. So, thank you for that. Um, thank you also, and particularly, to... Um, everyone who's donated and joined Club Filbert. So that is Passagero de Mundo who has joined Club Filbert Silver. Thank you very much. And I'm really pleased you won the competition. Oh, I might have pressed L by mistake. It's possible, Steve. It's possible. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Strandheimen for the five pounds. Thank you. Uh, Manuel for the two euros. Sky Edits for the one pound. Jenny for the five pounds. Ben for the incredibly generous £15, Jason for the £5 and Simon for the £3.90. That is honestly so appreciated. It means, it means the world to me that people are prepared to support me financially. It's very much appreciated. Um, and that's it really. Congratulations to everyone who's won today. I look forward to receiving your emails so that uh, we can give you these um, prizes. Next stream is at 1200 GMT tomorrow. That's one o'clock UK time when I will be flying from Singapore to Manila. Should be a good stream. Hope you can make it. Um, Club Filbert Gold members. I will... S what on earth is going on here? <laughs> Club Filbert Silver member, Gold members. I will see you uh, in the Gold chat room in Discord straight after the uh, uh, outro music has played. The rest of you, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. And Swamp Flies, thank you for your donation. Very, very kind of you. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.